Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed my last video, which was the interview with Stephanie, the female audiophile here. I realize it was a little tongue in cheek and only three minutes long, but where else are you gonna learn about the origins of a jukebox, as well as size does matter with your cables in such a little interview. But anyway, let's get more serious today on a topic that's actually pretty applicable because a lot of people are switching between Tidal to Kovas um, because of sound quality issues or because of the controversy right now with MQA and that video going around. I'm not going to get into all of that. I mean, if you like MQA, fine. If you don't like MQA, fine. I would just caution you, you can easily tell if you like it or not blindly. Just put uh, in title the same song, the title version that's the master quality MQA and one that is not in the same playlist. Close your eyes and then hit random play of that playlist and see if you can hear the difference back and forth and figure out which one's which. I don't know, five out of five times, 10 out of 10 times. Do whatever you want to see if MQA makes a difference to you or not, better or worse. So I'm not gonna get into that controversy, but the reality is a lot of people have been migrating since Kobuz came to North America to Kobuz, and then some are going from Spotify to Tidal or Spotify to Kobuz. And the issue that this video is gonna address is how to move your playlist easily or share them with others. I see that's a constant question. So I thought I'd do a video to help you guys out, regardless of where you stand on all the controversy right now. But this should be very applicable. So I'll turn around the camera, show my screen, and we'll walk through everything. Okay, guys, first thing you're going to want to do is get an account with Soundies. I guess that's how you pronounce it, S-O-U-N-D-I-I-Z.com. I've got free plan, and you can just do it with a Facebook account. So just log in on Facebook, and you can log in and create a free account, which will allow you to export your playlists and convert them uh, over to other formats and you can look at all the different ones you have you would sign in on your title account connect your title and Kobuz if those are the two like I have each right now and if you have Spotify you could see all the other ones where you could take your playlist I'm scrolling down here on the left all of these ones you can connect whatever one you already have a playlist on pretty comprehensive and even if this isn't comprehensive enough, you have the ability to import playlists up here through different mechanisms, but I'll get to that in a minute. So basically, once you connect your account, you'll have all your playlists showing and what service they are related to. So I can take one, since I'm moving from Tidal to Kobuz, eventually getting rid of Tidal, I can click this as my playlist, then you just come up here, you're allowed, you, you could do more if you pay, uh, but you have to do singular if you're on the free plan, you can only do one at a time. So you convert, convert. You, know, you can set it to public or whatever, and then save your configuration. It'll show you all the songs that are in the playlist. You confirm that those are the ones you wanna transfer, and then you simply choose what service you've connected that you wanna move them to. And in this case, it's converting them all to Kobuz. It might have some errors. They may not be the same matchup. But now that Kobuz miscellaneous audio file playlist that I had in uh, title only is now in Kobuz. Pretty simple. And you can go back and forth. How, whatever accounts you connect here, you can miss, you know, mix and match and transfer your playlist pretty easy. Now, let's go to a little more advanced talk, and that it has to do with your playlist in Runes. Some playlists that you create are strictly in Rune if you use Rune a lot. And so you'll have a, a mix and match of here's some uh, title tracks, and then I'll have one that's on my hard drive. And then, you know, you could basically have all different sources in a playlist here that you want to export. And there's no foolproof way to export it uh, that works for every service, but let me show you the best way to do it. First of all, you would come in here, right click, um, and then you hit select all, okay? Right click and then select all to be easier or select whichever one you wanna export. Then you come up here in Rune 
and hit export. And you want to export to Excel. It'll default to that, but you really want to export to Excel. And then you hit export now. And then it'll create an Excel spreadsheet here, like I've done it a few times, uh, with those tracks. And then you can even view those tracks in a spreadsheet. You can see which ones did export. It's not always uh, foolproof, and it may only pick up the ones that are on your hard drive. But once you have this list, you can then go back into your Soundies account, like I showed you earlier, and import a playlist and import from a file, select that file from your computer, and you can see all the XLS is one of them, and then you import that file into whatever the same process we just did. Okay, let's get a little more advanced for the case of where you wanna share with a friend. The most common thing you would do if you both have the same service is you could simply log into your title account and if they have title, you can share, copy playlist link, give that to them. You know, you can just email it to them or whatever, and then they can basically bring up this same playlist and then add it to their playlists. But let's say you want to take this playlist that's a public one on title that is made by somebody else and import it into Kobas or your own and you want to send it to somebody else for them to import it into Kobuz. So you can do the same thing. You take the, the, the playlist link, you come over to Soundies, and then you import a playlist. And instead of playlist from a file that we just showed, you can do it from a web URL. You put it in, paste it, submit the URL. I've already done this one. So to show you how well it works, I have in Kobuz now, this old school R&B barbecue. This is a, just a public playlist on title that I was able to move into my Kobuz account. So get somebody to make their playlist public, get the share code, come on the Soundies, import it into your respective accounts. And you can import it into Kobuz, title, anything you want, any of these accounts that you've attached. So hopefully this is helpful. It's a feature that a lot of people overlook and uh, sweat having to get your playlist all up to date. And it's not always perfect because there isn't 100% crossover in songs and titles. So, But this should help you at least get the majority of things transferred over and a, a, a tool that will help you share a lot better. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If so, subscribe, sign up for notifications, and I'll see you back here soon.